Health here. I'm joined now by Dr. Michelle Petroselli from Hartford Hospital. Thank you so much for being here and taking the time. No worries. We've heard so much about this. So first, can you kind of explain what it is? Sure. So it's a hypersensitivity reaction or a skin reaction from the caterpillars. They have those little hairs on them, the little spicules or spines or setae, and those can lay on the skin. Uh, if, you, if you one's crawling on you or what have you, there's proteins in there that our body makes an allergic reaction to. So it's a contact dermatitis similar to, say, a poison ivy, and a lot of people don't even remember touching a caterpillar or coming in contact with the caterpillar. But this year, there's a lot of caterpillars, and apparently, when they're also en masse, you can get just their spicules flying in the air, and it can land on your towel, your coat, your blanket in for a picnic, and then you go to touch those things, and you wind up getting this hypersensitivity reaction or dermatitis or gypsy moth rash. Yeah, you can see as a lot of little kids let them kind of crawl all over their fingers, right. all over their arms. Not a good idea. Not a good idea because it is a self-limiting disease, meaning it's not a terrible disease if it happens and if they want to do that, but it can cause an itchy rash that can be a nuisance. How's it treated, that rash? So the rash will be treated with um, first removing any spicules that you might find. So if you have one embedded in and it would be sore, you can take it off with tape or you can um, try, try tweezers. But if you just have the rash, you can put calamine lotion. Um, you can take an oral antihistamine like Benadryl or the store's own Benadryl diphenhydramine in order to combat that those itchy symptoms, but that does make you sleepy. So if you're taking an oral uh, antihistamine, make sure you don't take it while driving. Don't mix with alcohol. One of the key things, though, to remember, too, with little kids or anyone that might want to put these in their mouth, then you can get a much more serious reaction. I mean, you wouldn't want to put it in your mouth, but if you did, you could get a localized reaction, which could lead to tongue swelling, shortness of breath, drooling, those sorts of things. Yikes. You would need to seek medical attention for that. And I did hear you say you've been hearing a lot more about it this year than yes. years past. Yes. So is this a seasonal thing? Is this going to, like, stay through all the summer It'll long? stay with us all season long, yes. I, I'm not an entomologist, but the uh, lifespan of these gypsy moths come out in April and will last pretty much through August through their various stages. Um, and they're expecting this year to have a bigger year because it was uh, dry the last two years, and their life cycle is similar to some tree fungus that normally was killing them in previous years, but because we were dry the last two years, now there's many more gypsy moths um, and we've had a peak, a uh, big, what they call an outbreak in the 70s and one in the 80s. And um, they're expecting uh, South Central Connecticut and Eastern Connecticut to be hit most hard this year. Boy, in Connecticut, we wait all winter long to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. Is there any recommendation for what folks can do to protect themselves? Well, it mostly uh, causes problems on the arms, the face, the neck. So things like wearing a hat because the caterpillars will drop from the those little um, strands that they have on the trees. Um, if you're doing garden work to wear gloves, long sleeves, the usual stuff to avoid, you know, tick bites. It's kind of the same same thing. Mm -hmm. And if you if you have a caterpillar crawling on your arm or, or on your clothes, they recommend taking those clothes off and washing them. Don't wear that same shirt the next day because the proteins are still on the shirt and you go to touch the shirt and then you can get the reaction. All right. Great advice. It's one year for the gypsy moth. That's huh? it. All right, Dr. Petroselli, appreciate your time. No worries. Thanks. Right.